Okay, so let's see if I can break this down a little bit. I think I need to probably sit a little closer to the desk. I've been lounging back in my wonderful chair I love. All right. So... Um, all right, so GBPCHF, this trade I have open. Now, what I'm doing is right here, this is the Darwin X live. <clears throat> all right, so that's where price is. See how this, see this hedge set up? Now, this is going to be the first trade on this account. And... Then I have the other one. Uh, let's see if I can go on there. Uh, then here's the other one. All right, there's my current hedge. I'm going to do a third one. Now, these accounts, think about it like this. You know, you have prop firm. Prop firms, um, they have like rules and restrictions, you know, like you, you know, you can't do this and you can't do that. Notice how for the prop firms, they don't tell you this one thing. They don't tell you. They don't say be profitable. That's all we ask. They never say that. Never say, hey, be profitable. That's all we ask. And if you are a certain level of profitability, you'll make money. Prop firms do not say that, but hedge funds do. That's why I'm with the hedge fund. That's why I'm with Darwin X. Okay. Um, it's just plain and simple as that. Um, let's see if I can find something. Hold up. All right, so here's one that I just started. The other one I had going for a day. So, like, it started going up. It'll say trading days, right? And this will go up. Lewis calibration will go up. Um, if I can log into the other. Okay, and then the other one. Okay, so trading days to 15, and it tells you, you know, you want to get that meter to 100%. Um, risk calibration, right? So they're gonna, they want to know just basically what you're doing, like, you know, your drawdown, uh, how much you profit in a month, and stuff like that. So what, it's, what it then does is it's going to take. Your account, let's say your account is trading. Oh, this account is a virtual account. This, this account right here, this is a virtual account. Okay. It says live, but it's 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 linked to a live index. But regardless, trade this as if, you know, this is real money, okay? Because it's going to be real money. What they're going to do is they're going to put uh, money into you. They're going to give you allocation, okay? Um, let's see if I can think of... Um, you have different levels. You got Darwin Silver, Darwin Gold. All right. You start out as a silver. And these are people that have gotten allocations. Okay. And the way they set it up, set allocation. No, wait. I had, it was a thing I had brought up. Allocation. Allocations. They said the amount. It was a list. Hold up. Hmm. It wasn't on this. Oh no, that's a, I forgot the link to the Discord. Oh, I'm glad I accidentally hit that. It's a thing that tells you. Where is it? I know I saw it. I forgot where it was. I totally forgot where it was, but they, they, they have a set amount of money and then 
if your rating, oh yeah, you have a you have a, a rating. Once you get above, or you're above, or whatever, you're above a seventy five percent rating, like seventy five to between seventy five and a hundred rating. Um, then you start to get allocation, start to get money, just like a prop firm that says, okay, they give you ten thousand, thirty thousand, forty, fifty thousand, whatever. They decide like how much they're gonna give you. Then once you get to the next stage, like let's say you get to um okay rules maybe was it in, oh maybe it was in rules hold on wait a minute no yeah so go to the site and click it and look at the rules right it breaks down fifteen percent in performance fees okay because it would take a long time to break a lot of this down, but the basic reason is why I use it because you get a live ticker and people can invest in that ticker. You get your own ticker. Like this is my ticker. MSGQ and the other ones, MA, whatever it is, right? Um, you get a live ticker. And once that ticker becomes live, people can invest in that. You can get third party investment into that the biggest account right now is 135 million dollars i think that the guy's trading i mean he's i think about it 135 million i mean i don't know if i want to type all this in okay 100 that's 1.3 that's 13 that's 135 right right times let's say you make it make he makes five percent times five percent in a month right He's made six point seven million in a month, right? He gets fifteen percent of that as a commission. I mean as a payout. He gets one point one he's making one million dollars a month off that shit. I mean, once you dig deeper into this, the potential is crazy. Like once you get the full scope of really what this is, it's hard to grasp. Like it's hard to get it into your head. Like it's, it really is. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying? So you can go here, you got there, you can go to there, check it out and they'll explain this stuff. Okay. They'll explain it to you. I'm telling you, that's what you need to do. And way I'm, the way I'm guaranteeing my money, and look, you can make, if you're only making 2% the entire month, do you know you will get money? They will put money. They will keep reward you. You don't need to have a killing. You don't. I mean, of course, the more the merrier, but you, you don't have to in order to get paid. So um, I'm doing hedging. I'm hedging both these accounts. Um, I have the other order in here. I think the other one I started at uh, a 35, like 0.35, right? And just double, and then I, I go up 80% or something. I change it as it gets a little further. But I'm doing this. I'm hedging to guarantee myself a win, a W, okay? And I'm going to do a third one, too. But the third one's not going to be hedged. It's going to be more risky. It's going to be RSI Blueprint Strategy. That, that one's going to be like Stratosphere. You can have multiple accounts. So, and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, set it up. I got this. I got the box with Recovery Zone 30. That's 30. Okay. I got to set my 70 pips points. But, yeah, that's what I'm doing. You see that this one, if you look at USD JPY, Right, see the box. It went. I started right here, bouncing there a bit. Hit this, did the forty pip move, which ended up being a fifty. But it's the forty. That's that's average what it does. Got the forty seventy rule. It goes forty pips. When I watched it go forty pips, I knew it's gonna come back to the box. Right, go forty and come back to the box. Like, I mean, of course, there's times where it goes 40 and keeps going, right? That's fine. But I've seen it, and I said, go sideways. I said, oh, yeah, this is going back inside. I know that it's going to go back inside here, and it's going to decide trying to figure out what to do. 
Now, based on the sentiment, like let's see right now, like I'll say if we look at sentiment. Uh, let's say we go and USDJPY is uh, on the buy side. The long 36%, the short 64%. So I'm expecting this to bounce and to go to 70 on this side. It doesn't happen like 100% of the time. I'm not saying that, right? I'm saying that there's a chance it's more likely to go that way. <clears throat> it's a little it's more likely to go that way. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Honestly, honestly, I hope this thing goes the other way. <laughs> this way I can get even more money on another trigger like i would like it to go honestly i would like it to go trigger then another trigger and then another trigger and then go but i don't always get that i don't always get like several triggers so it is what it is um yeah so check it out um save money use the code <clears throat> that's in the i'm gonna put it in the description below use the darwin x code save 25 percent on your first hedge fund trading account all right good luck to you guys make sure you like the video please and make sure you subscribe if i've helped you in any way to point you in the right direction make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you give me a like that's all i ask i'm not asking you to send me any money or anything like that I'm not going to be contacting you about cryptos. I'm not, not going to be doing any of that stuff. All right. Anybody doing that, claiming it's me, call them out. They're a scam. Let me know their profile. You see it on YouTube. So I can ban them. All right. Peace.